Hello and welcome to the first episode of SOS Creativity TV and FM in 2021. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate you on making it through what a wonderful and weird year 2020 has been and happy new year to you in 2021. On today's episode, we're gonna be covering 13 different topics to follow in 2021. From a digital marketing, web development sort of perspective, these are the topics that are looking at the trends and looking at the analytics. These are what's gonna be paramount to 2021 from the digital marketing landscape. So I'm gonna give you 13 of those topics so you can pay attention to them as we progress into 2021. And with that being said, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel because in this year, every single week we're gonna bring you a brand new video to add value to you make sure to subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the notification bell and don't forget to share this video with another entrepreneur uh, that you like with that being said let's jump straight into the 13 points So like I mentioned, this is an area of our expertise when it comes to digital marketing landscape and web development. This is what we've built our company on. Therefore, it's very important for us to know what's gonna be happening and what the, the trend is looking at and how we can implement that to help our clients, ourselves, and so on. So with that being said, I'm gonna give you the 13 points to pay attention to, because if you are on the cusp of those trends and you're able to implement a few of them, you're gonna be able to grow your business in 2021. So the first one is conversational marketing. If you're not sure what that is, be sure to do some Google search on that. Conversational marketing is basically selling without selling by engaging in conversation, using things like some automated activities to to leverage uh, that conversational marketing is gonna be very, very huge in 2021. The next one is machine learning paid search. You've probably heard of AI and so on, big data and things of that nature, but this is now becoming more uh, prevalent in paid search, using machine learning, so using actual data to run your campaign for you and automate that efficiently so you can generate the best result. So pay attention for that in 2021 because that's gonna be really big. The next one is social commerce. So you look at 2020, it completely killed retail. Brick and mortar store, now no longer a thing. So social commerce is gonna be even bigger in 2021. You look at platforms like Facebook and Instagram, they're making it super, super easy for you to transact and buy things on the platform themselves. So that's social commerce, social e-commerce. That's gonna become even bigger in 2021. So if you're in the retail space, something to really, really consider. Next one is local SEO. This has always been a thing year in, year out, but it's gonna continue growing even further because people want to find solutions quite local to them. So if you can ensure that your brand, your website is integrating local search engine optimization, you're gonna be able to be seen by your audience, which will help you grow your business. And the next one from the marketing standpoint, before we go into web, is marketing automation. I touched about it a little bit earlier on the conversational marketing but marketing automation as a whole is gonna get even bigger because you think about it, there's so many different platforms you need to market on, there's so many things you need to do in order to reach your audience. So using systems to automate some of those activities, for example, conversational, nurturing your clients or nurturing the prospects using uh, systems to, to, to automate that process for you while you're doing the customer service on a day-to-day, -day, for example, or actually having meetings and so on, marketing automation is gonna continue to get even bigger in 2021. So that's the marketing area. We're gonna look at a few things on the website. And the first one is progressive web application. If you're not sure what that is, have a quick Google search for that. Um, that will probably be the best place to, to understand uh, what that means. Firstly, it's a way to efficiently uh, make your website and web application work a lot better. That's gonna become even bigger. Chatbots is another thing from the website of things which le links to the conversational marketing that I touched on as the first point, but integrating chatbots with, within your website, uh, that's be gonna become even bigger in 2021. And then single page websites, believe it or not, 
where because of the speed that a single page website can can be loaded that's becoming even more of a thing in 2021 and then following on from that is single page applications so you look at the likes of people like uber you look at some of these bigger company the majority of the function of the app is on that one page application which makes from a usability standpoint uh, quite slick and efficient Next is static web page. So static web page, you can look at it as something of the past that's coming back in. And the reason static web page is coming back in is because of the speed. Google, when it comes to SEO, one of the big technical criteria is your website speed. And there's no way to make a website quicker than if it's just a static website. Because if the website is not continually loading something new by being dynamic, for example, building a website using standard HTML, CSS, uh, static coding will make your website really, really fast, which means that will help your SEO side of things. So that's coming even more popular in 2021. And then you look at Internet of Things. Internet of Things, if, you don't, if you're not sure what that is, make sure you Google that uh, from an automation standpoint, from a connectivity standpoint, with all these smart devices that's coming into play, Internet of Things is gonna be a very, very big one. And then uh, mobile first design. So we've, saw, we've seen the rise of traffic through mobile applications. I think the, the last study shows that 55% of all traffic to a website is now coming from mobile rather than traditional computers and laptop. So that's gonna continue growing even further. And then finally, smart content loading. So in 2021, with so many busy feeds and so on, personalization is becoming a big thing. And smart content loading, for example, if you can implement a CRM where the page that you're displaying to prospect A and prospect B, you can include some uh, some of their names, for example, or maybe information that you've collected about them. So I give you a scenario: you previously through conversational marketing, you were able to gather some information, and then they came back to your website. Rather than them seeing a static blank page that everyone else is seeing, you've used smart content to maybe more tailor that content a bit more specific to them, either by including the name like I mentioned or by including their company name like I mentioned. That's gonna be a, a big thing in 2021 because it's a busy feed. And one way to cut through the noise is if you're able to communicate one-on-one. -on -one. And there's no better way to do that by smart content, so personalizing that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Which one of those 13 points that I mentioned are you gonna pay particular attention to in your business in 2021? Leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Don't forget to share this video with a fellow uh, friend and be sure to subscribe to the channel and join the notification squad if you haven't already. Till next week, have a wonderful January, have a wonderful first week back into 2021 and I'll see you soon.